Phil, welcome to Rochdale Football Club. We've been here a few weeks now working with the players and with the gaffer. How are you finding things? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, I've known the gaffer for a long time. Uh, I used to play with him at Morecambe. Uh, we've kept in touch over the years and he's made me very welcome and um, the lads have been absolutely brilliant with me so far um, everyone's engaged in all the sessions that we've done so it's been really enjoyable How did the kind of conversations between you and the gaffer come about in order room to, to try and get you here? Yeah to be fair like we've kept in touch for years um, we, we've always sort of uh, looked after each other's careers and stuff like that and when he said that you know there might be an opportunity to come in around to sort of get me in on a on a sort of couple of days a week basis, um, I jumped at the chance because it's obviously uh, first team level, which uh, which I've been working at the last few years, including when I was here in the past. Um, so that's obviously something that I want to keep doing. And uh, it was great when he when he said, "Yeah, let's let's get it done. Let's get you in. Let's get working." Just tell us a bit about like your, your kind of coaching preferences. You know how what you kind of worked on in the in the last few years. You've know, been at first team level. At a number of yeah, years. well. Um, when I finished playing about eight, nine years ago, I went to Everton and I was coaching through the, the youth system there, under 16s, under 18s. Um, I went to, I came here actually for, for a season, um, almost like on a part-time basis, working with uh, Brian Barry Murphy and Lee Riley. Um, obviously they moved on. I moved to Sunderland last year, had a successful season, got promoted and stuff like that. Uh, and then obviously things change in football, as people know. Uh, and then I've been sort of doing my own thing back in Liverpool, started my own coaching company and that's going to allow me to, to be more of a freelance type thing where I, I want to sort of uh, use my expertise which is around like the attacking third, the attacking players, uh, working with the attacking units and the strikers specific. So that's what I've been doing, uh, although Chaddy's had me doing quite a bit more than I was expecting to be fair in the gaffer, but um, no, it's all good. So uh, I feel like I've got a wide range of skills that I can, I can bring to the table. We're obviously find ourselves in a bit of a tough position in terms of the league table but obviously always looking upwards what do you make of this, this group of players that so far? Well I've been impressed with the attitude of the players uh, the quality has been good at times um, obviously we're not in the position that we want to be um, we're working you know unbelievably hard behind the scenes on the training pitch the amount of detail that's going into what we're doing on the pitch uh, in the preparation for games and in the analysis after games is second to none um, so all we can do is keep working keep working with the players, keep working on the things that we know have been successful for us all as coaches in the past and hopefully we'll turn things around. And you spent you spend a year at Hyde United? In, I did, in yeah. Your career. What's yeah. it like being back here? Yeah, in weird. The yeah, to be fair, um, when I left Morecambe with Jim as the manager, I came here, I came to Hyde and um, Manchester City put, put a bit of money into the club so the, the pitch was great and it was all like, you know, dead nice. I mean, it's really nice now. Um, obviously, it wasn't Astro Turf back then, but it was. I had a good season here. I really enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, it's a bit weird to come back as a coach and, and it be a, a slightly different pitch. But, but yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's been, been a good facility to use.